Howdy. <laughs> It's been a while, but I'm back testing your favorite legends in Apex to see who the best legend in the game is And this week I'm starting things off with a highly requested legend Valkyrie 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 Valk Valk Valkyrie Valky Ray See this is what happens when you leave comments and tell me who I should play just like Benji and Vincent you get featured Taking. For taking ammo, lifeline. Oh, like Rafe, can you just stop for one second? I'm literally trying to clutch here. Oh, guys, the well played and good jobs are nice and all, <laughs> but do make sure to subscribe. Like, right now. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Like, right now is your chance. The good jobs and well played would have to wait for now, though, as the third party were here and they were ready to give us the GGs. Finally, just like that, with absolute ease, we took down the menace to society, that is Mr. Blue Milk. He was down. Finally, I could sleep easy at night. Do I know what Blue Milk is? Absolutely not, but I'm guessing it's some kind of hard drug or something. But anyway, make sure to like the video, 4,000 likes for the next part. For real though, I didn't need illegal substances to get high. Surviving the drop with a salty wraith and 7 kills, that's enough for me. But we did poke our head in the clouds one more time before finding our way to the next team. Yeah, sorry mate, I'm actually short on shields myself. Be real, none of you are ever giving your random shield bats. Aside from my usual abilities, Val comes in super useful on this map. Why? Because you can fly up to any of the zip rails really easily and leave your non-movement ability teammates in the dirt to come save you when you try to 1v3 on your own. Perfect. Life is never bleak with chicken feet. Oh. Alright, let's be honest. This clearly wasn't the highest skilled lobby I'd ever played in. Huh? But you can only beat the players in front of you, and if over 8,000 hours on this game has taught me anything, it's that firstly, the matchmaking in this game, it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't. But secondly, it taught me that if you're ever looking for enemy teams, care packages are always a good place to start.
two squads left, two of us alive, and the two seconds it takes to subscribe. Sorry, I had to. We had a big disadvantage going into the final fight, and they, they had a long range triple take using Caustic. I, I just, why? Even after all of our nerfs over the past few seasons, I'm giving Valk a 5 out of 5 for personal utility, a 5 out of 5 for team utility, and a 3.5 for overall fun, leaving her at the top of the list for now. But Ashton, wasn't Horizon at the top? Don't worry, we'll get to that later. But first, we're jumping in with Bangalore, an L-Star, and a dead Rampart. All thanks to this comment from Jared. Good job, Jared. Sorry, Loba. No e-girls allowed here. I mean, unless you DM me. Mmm, oh. dust. I'm sure biting it is very delicious and nutritious Bangalore. Very cool. Sadly for us though, in the middle of the action, our crypto tiptoed his way back to the lobby and left us to pull up in the whip on the next team as a two-man. That's it for me. Interesting behavior, to say the least. After searching around for a bit, we decided to leave the crypto to res his elite Apex Predator teammates and instead go after the Fuse who was missing his shots so badly that they were nearly hitting us. It's always the Fuse player. Now after that, you might be asking, Ashton, how the f did you survive that? Well, the answer is quite simple, really. Magic. So we cleared up the mass of very, very attractive players using the best banner in the game. <laughs> Did I mention I made this banner? And on our way back over to see if we could find the crypto from before, Nacho did this. That is actually such a good shot. Like genuinely, nice shot, Nacho. Being the selfless teammate I am, I decided to chase after the Octane and try to make the most of Nacho's big damage. But what my smooth brain didn't realize is that they'd all be waiting inside for me. While I was waiting for the movie to come down, I successfully managed to knock the absolute demon. Ears 0928. And now we had ears down, it was time to make some noise. I 
I wish I knew why they were so insistent on hugging this rock. To be fair, it is a very huggable rock. Octane, what have I told you about this interesting behavior? In the end though, I'd rate Bang a 5 out of 5 for personal utility, a 4 out of 5 for team utility, and a 4 out of 5 for overall fun, meaning she finishes with a respectable 13 out of 15 score. In our third game, I decided to revisit Horizon. Since the Season 16 update, there have been so many legend changes that mean my old scores aren't always the most accurate anymore, and so I figured it would make sense to revisit some of those legends that weren't accurately scored for today's meta. But after bursting onto the scene in Stormpoint, Lifeline had something to say about me. You prince trying to pretend? Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I still have absolutely no idea what this means. After I was done pretending to heal, I pretended to loot and pretended to zip back up onto height, only to find a Newcastle pretending he had a chance of getting this res on. Okay, okay, maybe you do have a chance. As we went in search of their third, we found a third, except it wasn't their third, it was a third party. Welcome to Apex Legends, I guess. moving out of antenna, we still felt a little uneasy. Once again down to a two-man and with a bloodthirsty chicken savagely tearing up the lobby, I knew we had to be careful about the fights we took. So what better place to fight than this incredibly awkward hillside with the other team holding height over us, right? Right? <laughs> Fortunately for us and the rest of the lobby, the squad we finished managed to kill the chicken. And you know what that means. If you're cracked or your cheeks, life is never bleak with chicken feet.
All right, please never do that again. So overall for Horizon's updated score, I'm going to drop her personal utility to a 4.5 out of 5 since she doesn't have 100% accuracy on the lift anymore. A 4 out of 5 for team utility and I'm going to keep her overall fun at 5 out of 5 because that movement is still, that's just nice, isn't it? Which brings her down by 0.5 to 13.5 out of 15, making her the joint highest on points so far. Maybe I'll need a tiebreaker for these legends in the future. Let me know in the comments what you think, like the video and don't forget to subscribe.